Ian, a good week on the training ground, a free week off in the B-team game. Has it been constructive as, as you look to uh, get back to winning ways? Yeah, look, we're always striving for improvement. I think this week we've been smarting a bit from, from five days and probably three halves of football, which for us were unacceptable. Um, we're working really hard, as I said, on progression, on improvement in all areas and every aspect of our game. I think this week again we've seen some positive signs and we just now want to go out on Saturday and get back to winning ways. Yeah, just quickly on, on the B team, Owen Toe picked up a knock because he had a very good first 45 minutes, yeah. but Owen Beck played 90 minutes and Izzy played 90 minutes, some, some positives out of that? Yeah, Owen's uh, picked up a slight thigh strain, nothing serious, but enough to probably keep him out of Saturday. Other than that, I think we've, we're okay injury-wise and those two are, are progressing with their fitness all of the time. Um, and yeah, that everyone else is, is fit and available. So yeah, ready to go. Kyle Dempsey's back this weekend as well, which is good. Yeah, just, just on Izzy, I mean, he's uh, had a long time out. He's had a few games now, B team and, and in the uh, Papa John, so he, he's progressing nicely. Yeah, again, uh, Izzy was back at a similar time to Josh Sheehan. Um, then had the plantar fascia setback, which set him back two or three more weeks. But um, Tuesday, his his physical data was exceptional. Had an outstanding assist as well. So he's you know progressing all the time. He will play on Tuesday against Leeds, and then I would think we'll be more or less ready to play in the first team. That game against Leeds will come in handy, I imagine, given the players that you've got close to back to sort of first team contention and the number of players you've got fit and well. Yeah, again, everyone's more or less fit and healthy at the moment, bar, bar Owen. Um, so, yeah, we'll have a, a good selection to, to choose from. Um, we've got lots of good players, but again, we, we want to try and win every game we play, and that, that starts on Saturday with a difficult game against Barnsley and then on to Leeds on Tuesday. Yeah, Saturday first. Uh, you've had back to back defeats, which I know is a frustration, a, a disappointment, call it what you will, but I, I know you feel there wasn't an awful lot wrong, particularly with that game at Forest Green when um, nine times out of ten you probably probably were a successful. Yeah, as, as I said before, look, we, we're disappointed that we've lost two games, both tight. Um, didn't play well at all at Cheltenham, still could have drawn the game 87th minute goal against. And then Saturday, look, the, the data and the stats suggest you know, that we, we should and sh could have won that game really comfortably. Second half in particular, we've created loads of chances, just didn't take them. There wasn't a great deal wrong with the second half. First half, different, as I said, poor, but second half, lots better. And hopefully we can take that into Saturday, be confident. We know we've been doing really well at home and, and take the game to Barnsley and hopefully win. Yeah, is it important to keep that confidence intact and look at the league table and have a bit of perspective and of course everybody wants more points but you know, you're still in, in a good shape and, and not let the players get any, yeah. any negative vibes after what's been a good first couple of months? I, mean, I think but for Peterborough having that extra game would be in the top six still and that's our aim and ambition this season. Um, we want to try and finish in that top six and as I said, it's, football is a game which has ebbs and flows and you're going to have good spells, bad spells and it's about how you manage the bad spells, I've said that before, which will define our season. And the way we play and, and how we play, our identity and brand takes confidence and courage, so we must keep the players confident and positive as much as we can. We're all disappointed, of course, and we're all striving to be better, but we must remember what we have done so far this season. You know, best start in 22 years after 10 games, I think the best defensive record in the league. There's lots to be good and positive about, and, and let's take that into Saturday. And you know, have a great atmosphere, a raucous atmosphere here, and, and take the game to Barnsley. Yeah, you had back to back defeats in August and then responded with a four game winning run. I'm not going to say that's automatically going to happen, but you've done it before, you can do it again. Absolutely, as I said, I've got a huge amount of belief in these players. I think still very much a work in progress, we're still on that journey, and we're by no means the finished article. I said that after we've won that fourth game against Peterborough, there's lots still to improve and work on. And that still remains the case. Um, as I said, we're not getting judged after 12 games, we're getting judged after 46. Uh, but for now, just refocus our minds, get back to our, our performance levels, both with and without the ball, um, and physically, mentally, and make sure we try and get those three points to, to get us back in those playoffs. Yeah, you've got a tricky one at Accrington, but you have got three out of the next four at home. I know it's one game at a time, but you've been so good at home, again, that there's opportunities. Always opportunities and, and here really suits us, I think the atmosphere has been absolutely fantastic, credit to the fans for that, uh, obviously the, the playing surface very much suits us, how big the pitch is and open expansive we can be. And yeah, we're looking forward to playing here, but as I said, there's no givens. This is a really difficult game. A team that 18 months ago almost got to the Premier League, uh, 
in the championship last season Michael who knows us very well from his Charlton days we know how his teams play very intense very energetic it's going to be tough um, but we have confidence in ourselves that if we perform to our levels we can get the right result the one apparent deficiency just purely looking at stats is you haven't scored enough goals and, oh. and everybody is aware of that but is it just that balance between placing demand on the strikers but not placing pressure on the strikers yeah, I think they've, we've had a discussion this week and they know that we need more from them. Um, I think we're one of six teams in the entire division where our XG is, is greater than our goals for, um, which isn't good. But we're working hard and I have a huge amount of belief in those forward players and I do think once they catch fire, the rest of the league will stand up and take note. Yeah, I think back end of last season, you were probably the envy of the division and the personnel that you had up front and you've still got those same people. Exactly, and we've had some disruption with them uh, so far this season. Some injuries here and there, some travelling away with internationals, etc. But yeah, we're, we're confident that they'll catch fire soon, and once they do, as I said, the rest of the league will have to stand up and take them. So just last year, back here on Saturday, as you say, let's have a great atmosphere, back on the winning run. You know you'll be in the top six if you win, so again, things will be looking good. Exactly, yeah. I mean, it's amazing that we... We feel a bit low after those two defeats, but still in and around the top six, and that's where we want to be. That's our aim this season. So yeah, let's uh, let's go and attack the game and see where that takes us.